Hello again. In this video, we will simulate what we call a flexible or elastic pendulum. This simulation is the suggestion of my professor, and I think the results are really interesting. So let's see the simulation and the results. So basically, we have a pendulum, and instead of having a fixed length here, we have a spring. And the behavior of the system is really interesting. Like this is the path of the pendulum itself under specific initial conditions. And as an application on such a system, this kind of jumping is considered as one of the applications. So here we have this frame and we have this pin connection. And this pin connection has some limits for the rotation axis. We have a limit of minus 75 degrees, which is this location. And the maximum limit is 75 degrees, which is somewhere here. And this is the regeneration value, which means whenever you regenerate, you will take this pendulum to this position. And simply we have this sphere and it's connected with a slot connection because it moves on this line. And here we have some planar connections to make sure that it stays on these planes. This is the first one. This plane on the sphere stays coincident with this one. And this one is coincident with this face here. So basically, this pendulum only goes this way, up and down. And we have the spring defined. Now, if you select this face and then go to view normal, we can see it normally. And I'll drag this all the way here as an initial condition. And then I will regenerate so the position is correct. The spring is defined. The gravity is defined. The mass is defined. And now we are ready to run a dynamic analysis. Here we need to enable the gravity then we need to run the analysis. I'll stop it here and then go to measures. Here I need to define a new measure. So first I'm interested in seeing the position of this point here. I already defined a point and I want the Y component. Then OK and then show and here's the response so basically these boundaries are the boundaries of the motion as if we don't have any spring and the spring is responsible for this type of response here the small periods to make sure of this we can define another measure so i will drag this a little bit here and then i will define a new measure I'm also interested in the position, but this time of this point. And I want to calculate the Y component too, then hit OK. And now, instead of selecting only measure 1, make sure to select the last analysis you did and hold Control to select both of these, then hit OK. So this is the second one we defined, and obviously it's very close to the response of the system as if we don't have that spring. So this is what we have about the position. And now let's see the velocity and the acceleration. So now I will calculate the velocity of this point. And I'm also interested in the Y component. And we have such a type of response, which is really interesting. Or we can edit this feature and define the Z component. Now let's define the acceleration. I will select the same point and we are interested in the Z component. And we have almost the same type of response. Now, once again, I will drag this pendulum here and for the measures, I will define a new one. And this time I'm interested in the acceleration, 
but this time the acceleration of this point and I want the Z component then hit OK and I will select the last two measures then hit OK and here whenever we have a maximum acceleration of the ball then we have a minimum acceleration of the point we selected later so here this is the maximum of the pendulum itself and here it goes minimum with the point we selected and it's the same with all the points now which is more interesting than that is adding a damper to the system and here we have a damper placed between these two points and now I will regenerate this and I will drag this all the way up to here and I will run the analysis once again and notice how the spring doesn't go all the way up to the end of the slot now because we have some damping so here the damping is obvious and this is the acceleration graph let's see the velocity and it's almost the same but we have this wave here and this is the position of this point and now let's see these two together and with the damping we can see that we have some offset because the damping is only related to this spring it's not related to the position of this point and this is really interesting how this shift will keep increasing until the mass stop moving now let's try to run it for a longer time and now once again and here it's really interesting because this is the oscillation of the mass itself and this is the response of the end point of the slot so as long as we have this oscillation we have some oscillation in the point itself like here as you can see the curve is not smooth because we still have some oscillation and that affects the end point but when the mass stopped oscillating this curve became smooth like here as you can see both curves are smooth because we no longer have any oscillation in the mass itself so this is really interesting how the spring and the damper affect the overall response of the system so when it comes to the acceleration we have this kind of response and when it comes to the velocity we have this type So now let's try to add some friction here on this joint and check the response. So here for the friction, I will set the static option to 0.1 and the dynamic to 0.01. And for the radius of contact, since I already created this with 10 millimeters, so the radius will be 5. Now, once again, I will drag this and I will regenerate and this time it's very important to activate the friction so now let's check these two responses and here the effect of the friction is obvious because the amplitude of this curve is getting smaller with time finally it's really interesting to trace the path of this point so I will regenerate once again then drag this here or simply let's go to analysis trace curve I need to select this analysis the last one I did and for the point I'm interested in this point I need a 3d curve then preview and this is the path that this point took during the analysis now let's try to see how it goes without damping so i will suppress this damper and i will regenerate and then 
I will run the analysis once again. And now for analysis, select trace curve. And here, select this study. I need a 3D curve and I'm interested in this point. And here we have the path of this point during the analysis. Now we can try give it another initial condition. So I will keep this curve here. I will regenerate. And this time I will drag this just somewhere here. And now once again analysis, trace curve, select the last study, 3D. And for the point, I'm interested in this point. Then preview. And here we have a different path. So this is the effect of the initial condition on such a system. If I keep it somewhere here. So that's what I have about elastic or flexible pendulum. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.